history. Archimedes, a famous Greek scholar, ran through the streets without any clothes on, proclaiming this word, Eureka. This means I found it after stepping into his bath and making a mathematical discovery that would forever change the course of science. It even became the official motto of California in 1963. Towns, businesses, and restaurants have been named Eureka. I'm fascinated by the words uttered by famous people and how they influence and change the way that mankind thinks and reacts. Would diamonds have been so popular if the icon Marilyn Monroe had not said, diamonds are a girl's best friend? Famous words emphasize and enhance the importance of phenomenal events. One small step for man, a giant leap for mankind, puts a whole different meaning to the first step ever taken on the moon. It's almost as if you can't think about this action without associating it to these comprehensive words. If a famous person as much as utters a few words, it is inscribed and scrutinized in the newspapers, magazines, and journals of history. Some quotes make us mind our own words. Eleanor Roosevelt, wife of Franklin D. Roosevelt, once said, great minds discuss ideas Average minds discuss people, discuss ideas. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. And small minds discuss people. Franklin Roosevelt, her husband, said, It is better to swallow your words now than to have to swallow them later. <laughs> I acknowledge what Einstein said. If A is success in life, then A equals X plus Y plus Z. Word is X, Y is play, and Z is keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> I'm so glad that Einstein recognized the importance of play because my mom is his biggest fan. Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, said these enlightening words. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. It is difficult to apply at such a young age, but the words stay with me. Oscar Wilde, a famous writer, once said these words that I would love to make my motto, but wouldn't dare to, not until I'm 21 anyway. The only way to get rid of temptation is to yield to it. <laughs> on the verge of being teenagers, he has the following advice. Be yourself, everyone else is taken, and always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them as much. <laughs> C.S. Lewis, one of my favorite authors, said something that I can truly associate with. Friendship is born at the moment when one person says to another, What? You too? I thought I was the only one. My motto is, you've got to dance like there's nobody watching. Love like you'll never get hurt. And love like it's heaven on earth. Quoted by William W. Perky. My dear audience, distinguished judges and fellow students, if this oral has not inspired and enlightened you, I conclude with the words from the famous love story, Gone with the Wind. Frankly, my dears, I don't give a damn. <laughs>